All right, here we go. We're going to do some factoring by grouping. Why do they make me wear this ridiculous costume? Hee hee hee. All right, factoring by grouping. Objective to factor a polynomial by grouping terms. Well, we're going to do a couple of the things. The objective, the hard part about this section, um, well, not, I guess, hard, but the challenge, I'll say, in this part is finding the proper group. Um, just to do a little review of uh, just regular old factoring, old school. Um, if you look at this, uh, WM minus 8M, you'll say, oh, I noticed that there's uh, an M in both terms. I'm going to take that M out and rewrite this as um, W minus 8. Sweet. Well, what if that, instead of that M, what if that M was actually X minus Y? Wouldn't you do the exact same thing? And the answer is, yeah. This is, uh, I'm going to take this M out here and the M out here. So I'm going to factor out the X minus Y, and I still get W minus 8. So I'm still factoring this um, this number out of these two terms. So I look here, can I, uh, I look at this term and this term and I say, are there any common factors here? And I notice, again, isn't this x minus y the common factor? This is supposed to be a y. Yeah, so I can take the x minus y out. And what's left on in this term is the w minus 4, right? Minus what's left over here. 8 minus 3w. Then we want to combine like terms here, so we'd have to go like one little step further. Um, see, if I out of focus here, let's see. Uh, let's go back a little bit. That might be a little better. Sorry, I'm running into an all focus issue here. All right, here we go. That looks good, right? Yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Um, then we just combine like terms here w minus 4 minus 8 plus 3w and I combine my like terms inside and negative 4 and negative 8 negative 12, 3w and w 4w over here x minus y so here's a problem here's a new one, I'm going to factor this one by grouping and I look and I say what kind of groups can I put these into and um, you can switch them around, is there a difference of two squares? No is there a perfect square trinomial? No, that's kind of weird but I notice there's a these two terms have a common factor, and so do these. So I'm going to keep them. I'm going to split them in half. Factor the left side, then factor the right. These guys have in common an a. Um, and these two here, what do they have in common? Uh, I notice they both have a c in common. Okay. Now I have two terms. I took four terms and brought it down into two because I factored this number to a product. I took this number and wrote it as a product. Now I have only two terms. Now do these two terms have common factors? I notice they both have 3 plus b as a factor. So I'm going to factor that. 3 plus b times a would give me the first term. C. So if I distribute this through, I do end up with this. If I distribute these through, I end up with this. So all three of these expressions are equivalent. And I've completely factored that. Alright, here's another one. Let's see. Difference of two squares. I have a difference, perfect square, perfect square. So let's do it up. What's the square root of, remember how we did this is you take this, look at the square root of this guy, which is a plus 2b, square root of this guy, which is, whoops, 3c. Remember how you factor a difference of two squares. It's the root plus this, this root, the root minus this. So it's the sum of the roots times the difference of the roots. So that's how we're going to do it. a plus 2b plus 3c a plus 2b minus 3c. I look to factor anything here and there's nothing else to do. I'm done. I've completely factored this. That was a fairly simple one. Alright, let's get a little more difficult. Let's see what we can do here. Alright, now here's a... We have here, um, I'm looking for some common things to factor. Um, I notice I can take this a and this a over here and take an a out. If I brought this guy over, I'm going to put one um, a minus 2. I brought the b over. Mm. Ah, but if I notice, do I notice something with these three terms? If I re rearrange this, what do we notice about this guy? Is that, a, is that a perfect square trinomial? Isn't this a perfect square? The square of A, isn't this the square of 1? And isn't the middle term twice the product of this? A times 1 is A, twice A is 2A, yes. So this actual part is 
a minus 1 squared. Ooh, that was tricky to rearrange it and find that perfect square trinomial. Ooh, now I'm not done. I have a difference of two squares here, right? Square of this guy, square root of this guy is a minus 1, square root of this guy is b. So it's the sum times the product of the roots. So a minus 1 plus b, a minus 1 minus b. All right, got that guy factored. Good, good work. Woo. All right, let's check out this one here. Well, you know when you have an a squared, b squared, um, those are two both perfect squares, not a difference. Um, remember you check for a perfect square trinomial, you find the root root and see if the middle term is twice the product. Well, the root here is a, the root here is b. This looks like twice the product of a, b, so if this was written, I, mean, I don't have to write it like this, but it makes it a little easier to look at. Like this, I notice I have a perfect square trinomial. Square of A, square of B, right? The product is AB, the middle term is twice the product. So I have a perfect square trinomial, it's A plus B squared. I look over to this guy, and I notice these have a 2 in common. So I'm going to factor the 2. Oh, then I notice these guys, they, these two terms, each have an A plus B in common, right? This can be written as A plus B times A plus B. So, um, I can factor the a plus b out. Wow, that's another super tricky here. Take the a plus b out, bada bing, bada boom, ba 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 da ba boom. What's left here? An a plus b. What's left here? Plus 2. There, I've taken this original sum of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 terms and wrote it as the product of 2. Craziness. Now, if I multiply this through, you'll notice I'll get this, and I take these guys, square this guy, da 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 da, and go all the way up. I'll end up getting what I started with. Cool. All right. Let's do two more. Uh, just enough time for two more. How can I group these guys? All right. Well, I notice right off the bat I have a difference of two squares. Perfect square, perfect square. These guys have a two in common. So let's see. This is square root of this P, Q. So I write P plus Q times P minus Q. That takes care of this group. I'm going to take out of here. How about a... Um, Hmm, I could take a negative, I could take a 2 out, yes, and I'd get, or negative 2 out, yeah, I'll take a negative 2 out, let's see what happens, I get P, take a negative 2 minus Q, cool, um, am I done? Hmm, let's make sure negative 2P, positive 2Q, nice, that works, oh, look at this, both have a common term here, so I can factor out the P minus Q, What's left on this side would be p plus q, and on this side would be minus 2. Look at that. Taking this 1, 2, 3, 4 terms and written as a product of 2. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So it's been completely factored. Bada bing boom ba. One more. Oh my goodness. Well, let's see. Is there something I can factor out of the left side and the right side? They're already grouped together. Let's see. I mean, sometimes it's best to rearrange these guys. Um, let me undo the parentheses. Maybe this is a trick. Let's first see if I can factor stuff inside these, you know, as they are grouped right now, and see if anything comes about it, comes from it. Um, let's take an a squared out of this guy, a squared, and I get here b squared plus two um, over here minus. What can I take out of this group? How about a two a? I get a b squared uh, plus two. All right, look at that. So actually, I end up, don't need these parentheses here. So there's a b squared plus 2 in both. Let's take this b squared plus 2 out. b squared plus 2. What do I have here? An a squared minus 2a. All right. Uh, ooh, look at this. I can take, we get a factor out of this. How about an a? All right, so I get b squared plus 2 times a minus 2 times a. There we go. All right, we've got this guy factored too. So we've done the factoring. So the big main thing is figuring out how to group these things. Um, remember the main the things that we've had. We have perfect square trinomials. We've had difference of two squares. We've had um, all different other kinds of stuff. Um, so make sure you look for all those groups, okay? Have a good day.